In this presentation, we will take a look at net pay calculation. When considering the net pay calculation, we can think of it in its most simple form when we're going to go from the gross pay to the net pay. Note that the gross pay represents what would have been earned if there were no deductions from uh, the wages, meaning if uh, whatever the employee earned, we would just then pay that. That would be the paycheck if there were no other deductions, including things like uh, taxes and any other types of deductions. Now, I say theoretically sometimes when I say it's, it, it would be the gross pay if there were no other taxes, because again, from an economic standpoint, if we were to negotiate what the gross pay would be and there were no taxes, no payroll taxes and, and other types of deductions, then the gross pay would could differ. So if there's some argument as to who the actual payroll tax liabilities and tax liabilities are falling on um, because it's pretty clear that, of course, the gross pay you know, may not be the same. The negotiation wouldn't come out the same if there, would, if there wasn't taxes. But in theory, the gross pay is what is actually being earned. So when we say this is how much money we earn on a yearly basis, we say someone earns $100,000, that's typically their gross pay. So from a most simplified standpoint, then we're just going to subtract out the deductions that will be included, and that'll get us to the net pay. So whenever we see our paycheck, what we actually get, the check we receive, will be the net pay. And if we look at the pay stub, we can go through the calculations and see what is included in the deductions to get from the gross pay minus the deductions to the net pay. So then, of course, the types of deductions which we've taken a look at are going to be those mandatory deductions, including taxes, federal taxes, uh, state taxes, so the, the federal income tax, the state income tax, uh, the um, Social Security and the Medicare, and then the voluntary uh, types of deductions. And those are going to be the benefits not typically given or not uh, possibly not mandated by law, but oftentimes benefits given to the employees as an option. So a bit longer calculation would look something like this. We'd have the computation. We start with the gross pay. That would be the earnings before any deductions. Then we're going to subtract out the pre-tax deductions. So these are going to be deductions that we're going to need to reduce in order oftentimes to get uh, the taxable earnings. And this could be a little bit more complex than just uh, doing this as a one-time calculation or as one formula like this, but this will be used to give us the idea. The reason we say that, the reason I say that is because the uh, taxable earnings would work if we're talking about one type of tax, meaning the federal income tax has different uh, taxable earnings possibly than the Social Security tax or the Medicare tax. So when you see this type of calculation, um, usually we're kind of you can kind of think of it as the federal income tax calculation, which is mainly the most complicated uh, tax usually that uh, we'll need to to come up with. So gross pay minus the pre-tax deductions, and the reason for that is that the Social Security and Medicare usually more of a flat tax. So usually we can just take kind of the gross pay to calculate things like Social Security and Medicare on a flat tax basis. Uh, we're taking these deductions out in order to get to taxable earnings, usually to calculate things like the federal income tax. And then uh, we're going to subtract out those taxes, those taxes that we calculated uh, based on the taxable earnings. So that's the reason we have this ordering. And then we've got the other types of deductions, everything else we need to take out. So the other deductions down here don't have any effect on the taxable earnings. That's why we're going to take them out after we calculate the taxes and we and when we look at the register when we actually do these calculations we will uh, this will become more apparent we'll see how we'll set up the register in, in a logical fashion in order to take the gross pay take the deductions from the gross pay get our taxable earnings calculate the taxes based on those taxable earnings and then deduct the taxes and then we can take everything else out before we arrive finally at the net pay, the actual amount that will be paid. Note this deduction can be seen in terms of every paycheck, from paycheck to paycheck, pay period to pay period, whether it be weekly, uh, monthly, bi-weekly, semi-monthly, or it can be seen on a year-to-date type calculation as well. Sim similar type of, of worksheet can be seen, and this is the type of thing that you may see uh, on a pay stub, or you should see something similar to this on a pay stub, both from a pay period standpoint, what's your gross pay, what's your deductions, what's your next, what's your net pay, and in terms of a year to date calculation. 
information needed to be given from the employer to the employee. And uh, once again, note that uh, this doesn't seem too bad, and it's not too bad from pay period to pay period, but uh, when we have to do it also as a cumulative year to date with each pay period, with each pay stub, uh, it does get uh, to be something that we really need to keep detailed track of. Accounting. I don't know anyone in accounting.